Good morning to all. Uh, here we are going to discuss a main important topic which is HRM. So this is one of the fundamental branch of any management science. So it really cares about the humans, emotions, moods, leadership, then we can call as fluctuations of behavior, all these parameters are here and why it is important? Just because when you are being a manager, you are expected to handle a bunch of people. Okay, so they will be acting differently in different situations and as a manager you should interpret them properly and guide them to get your work done. Your main motto is to fulfill the organization needs, the objectives of the organization. So as a HRM what you are expecting from them that you are analyzing them properly, giving the guidance to them properly and then finalizing the problem with the perfect solution and employee should listen to you. So HRM is basically a dynamic subject. Why it is dynamic? Because every individual is different. Now the basic question comes here, we are in the marketing sir and why we need to learn HRM. So in the marketing as well, you are appointed with at least 10 or 20 people, a bunch of region or any uh, scalable area where you need to send them, you need to ask them for the questions, either it could be a survey or product selling or analysis of the market, anything. So everyone will be coming with their own inputs and what will happen over here? Once they are getting the inputs from them and giving you the inputs, you are very much ready to get the human resource and their inputs. And this is management. So you are managing them. What if one of them is not going anywhere and creating a false data? And uh, at the first glance you will not get recognized about it, this the data is false. Third or fifth day, one of the representative will give the input that this guy is going nowhere, giving us the false data. And then uh, after six days you start analyzing it, whether the news is correct or not. And you found it, the news is correct. The guy is just going at home, sleeping and just... Uh, rescheduling its whole plan, making a false excel sheet and visiting once again to the organization at 5 pm as a reporting. So you need to first of all analyze the situation, why he is doing such things, whether one of his parents is ill or does he have any financial issues and joined another job, so getting extra income for that or is he lazy by nature. So there may be such factors which are influencing his behavior. So the first and foremost thing is you need to analyze the situation, then you need to tackle it well. In the first case, if the parents are ill and he need to serve them well within that period, and that's why he tackled this situation like making a false excel sheet. So what should you do? You just ask him to come to your cabin. Then ask him for the mediclaim and all facilities available at the company. He should admit the parents to the hospital and there will be no financial burden on it. What will be happening for the second case when he has a second job? Now you need to come with the HR policies and rules and regulations of the organization. While joining this company, you can't be joining any other company. This is written in every rule. We can, we can call it as a contract with the organization. So as per that rule, you can give the intimation or you can fire. And what if he is lazy? So if he is lazy, you can direct him to the counselor a career counsellor or any psychiatric so he will guide him that your life is at the wrong path and you should not be lazy at work 
so there are thousands of parameters as a marketing manager as well you need to tackle these situations there are multiple functions we are going into very deep in theories but the basic reason behind learning those theories as i have given you this is definitely going to happen you as uh, you will be joining like 6 lakhs you will be definitely appointed with the 10 subordinates who had completed uh, their uh, commerce or arts not willing to study much they are not progressing anything but they are good at their work they know how to drive a bike go to the place get the report so there will be 10 subordinates with you one or two may be the cases like this always so you have three different options to tackle but according to the reason why it's happening so it is our prime duty to tackle the situation according to the policies your analytical skills and the main important thing the whole theory is available in this subject so you got the clarity why marketing manager needs to know hrm if you are not if you are not good with hrm you will not be a good leader you will soon be asked like uh, you have 10 subordinates and they were with you 5 months and now it's may ending now we need to promote them so which one you will choose this question will asked by your senior manager okay so we have three subordinates who will get pro promoted and other seven will be kept it as it is so now the tackling situation arises because you need to analyze how they worked for last 5 months and why they were not there the proper reasons what was the attendance sheet what was the performance sheet what was the actual reporting quality quality is also important if one is asked for the presentation he is giving you a five slide ppt no factual data was available he was just impressing anyone who is presented there and uh, one didn't made any ppt just serving the tea and coffee to emphasize the environment and making himself a good person so this is not a actual parameter for presentation right so you need to tackle them it is called appraisal you need to check performance management you need to check the compensation management you need to check the appraisal system so as a manager it is your duty that your subordinates are get well treated if someone is not doing well how it could be promoted there there should be an agenda ready with you so hrm comes into the picture hrm gives you the lots of features so now we will start with the theories theories are very much important because the same thing happened with the ob paper happening here also this will be a lengthy theory paper sir vel purla nahi this is going to happen once again so what do you need to do you need to first tackle the theories mug it up properly and then just get it into your brain with the diagrams easy easy diagrams so same thing like ob had we had a diagrams as well so let's start with the overview i have given you the overview now first and foremost it is highly requested to get the syllabus copy with you right now because this semester also is of 3 months only so same rush hurry and all the books and all these things rushing happening this same also so first and foremost chapter we are going to cover introduction objective scope features of hrm role of hrm and importance of hrm so surely there will be a question on this chapter so we'll go one by one so i'll give you the story first the case happened with wipro as a software developer they had facing a challenge people were hopping so much so what happens over here i am training an employee he's been there with me 5 months and now some other company has offering them better a job so now you are training your effort going west 
just because he is not with you anymore. So this is job hopping. We can call it from here to here, here to here. Sometimes they come back to your organization as well. So Vipro tackled with the exit interviews. Why you are going? Is it only money? Someone scolded you? Or is there any issue of facilities that is farther from your home and something? Is you, uh, are you needing the online uh, sessions or reporting times? Anything. That could be anything. So Vipro tried to cover that with the exit interviews. And some of them returned. Just because they had uh, issues, uh, minor issues, which were not there, that much emphasizing the switch. Okay. So exit interviews are there. So every time as a marketing manager, you need to tackle those situations. Nature of HRM, we are going for introduction. Introduction has already done. We are going for objectives. Objectives, you will get the clear idea. Okay. So as we have already discussed in OB, here we are also discussing the objectives level wise. So the first level is personal, then functional, organizational and societal. So this could be a personal, functional, organizational, societal. There are levels of objectives. What we have discussed in the first example, he was personally disturbed. Why? Because either he, his parents were ill or he was lazy or he was getting a different job. So that was a personal oriented function means here we need to tackle it we need to send him to the counseling or something then we are moving towards functional so uh, as a theory let me give you the objectives first i will read it aloud from societal okay as a society we have some laws some rules and regulations some cases happen with it industries that they were giving night shifts to the ladies and some cases happened that were not pleasing. So what they did, they made a different policies for women who were working in the IT industry. So in the societal objectives, we need to consider the overall orientation. What will happen if someone is from south region of India is getting employed in the Maharashtra region. The HR should give a proper ambience, a residential place, a facilities over there to nurture the employee development. So societal level is on that big level, the laws on that big level that they are giving a proper, uh, a proper nurturing environment. So the HRM has a main important role. What they did to the, uh, you, you know that uh, the black glasses are now banned in India ok the cars should not have the black glasses so that is the law level punishment right now that is on the societal objectives so HR should be very much ready to give each and everyone a justice who is working with the organization or for the society ok then we have organizational objectives we are matching the goals of organization with the actual development of people. So here we are considering about organizational objectives. What is happening over here? You have a big corporate industry. So you have branches over Pune, Bangalore, Mumbai, Calcutta, anywhere. You have all these branches. So is it possible to make different HR policies for Pune or different for Mumbai? Is it possible? For the organizational level, the policies all across the branches should be same. Because organizational goal is same. If, if a client available in Pune also wants to join the Mumbai branch, so he sh should not get any difference in the objectives because what's happening over here uh, a Pune software was good but Mumbai software was like uh, lagging behind or reporting was lot lousy this should not happen whenever they are going they should get a same quality 
the organizational goal is to provide the quality to the customers so it is our prime agenda to give the same quality and wh why uh, the hr plays an important role because if the pune based company is giving uh, 5 lakhs for every manager or associate and mumbai is owing giving 3 lakhs what will happen over here quality automatically deteriorates so organizational objective should be like we need to get the same qualified level people in every level of organization means for the pune executive is with the mba or any post graduate degree and for mumbai it is like executive any graduate any graduate what will happen over here soon you will be getting a clear agenda in the organizational reports then organizational goals as well so as a hr organizational objective should be equal with all the branches what happens if someone in india right now working in india get a opportunity to work in france he is hoping to france he is getting extra salary but what about other agendas reporting then facilities then uh, then uh, the most important thing behavioral attributes over there what he will do right now here he will start for indian searching indian societies available in france he will comfort so organizational objectives should be very much matching despite of any branches available worldwide okay the societal with the law and organizational with the goals okay this is with the law you can write it down so you got it now the third objective that is functional objective so here comes a role of departments the eligibility the resources dubai police has lamborghini do you know this also has ferrari despite of the crime rate is very low they are having this luxury why what happens if the mumbai police has a lamborghini arda odats evde paise why is this happening because of the functional level this functional level different departments are assigned to you so every department is earning something spending something every department has a reporting something and getting a proper income or goals achieved so what's happening over here we need to tackle the functional level issues as well if hr department so i was working in the video con so there were ctv means color television department then we had refrigeration systems department so refrigerator were there then we had ac ac units so ac were uh, ac what manufactured over there so these were like three main plants in video con when you walk into the air conditioner systems you will not feel anything different there were no much cleanliness or uh, some extra precautions done with the cleanliness issues but when you are walking into ctv especially in the led section we had a glass panel air conditioner atmosphere then everyone is working very promptly all the lights are available we had a survey line over there so what's happening over here we are giving a functional agenda with the hr or objectives what's happening over what's what's the difference between led tv and air conditioner or fridge led tv is delicate completely electronic so dust is not that much good for that what happens with the uh, refrigeration or ac systems we need mechanical components over there welding bending of pipes then we have compressor to join 
and we have heavy gauge wires we can get the wire pulled but still it is holding its place and what's happening with the color television if you are just spilling a drop of water it will get damaged so now on the functional level we are having two different things a big led tv manufactured in 15 minutes cost you 1 lakh rupees okay and the big fridge costing 1 lakh rupees is made up with 3 days of different efforts 3 days so what hr manages with here in 15 minutes we are getting big money so the functions will be different and for the refrigeration there will be different for the refrigeration what skills we need we need a mechanical diploma you should solder well you should uh, have a proper knowledge about uh, soldering as well uh, what we can call welding skills bending skills and in the color television you need to read the digits properly what semiconductor what issues where to keep it well dust moisture electricity static charges you need to work on a minute parts so engineer or electronic diploma holder should be there so the functional level objectives are varying with the department so so this is calling out for the departments see you are going to tackle all these situations right if some of your subordinates is hitting an old woman while coming to the company on which level you are uh, tackling it societal level he broke the law he didn't had his driving license also and what he claimed with that company gave me the order to rush fast to the company so the policeman calls you because who is your reporting manager he calls you and he scold you why you have appointed a person without a driving license gave him a job is it your prime duty to check his driving license before giving him a delivery man uh, uh, duty right or wrong you will be standing in the court in few days later why because your hr policies are false now the same uh, uh, reporting has opened here a mumbai branch officer reports the customer in 13 days after giving any quotation or something okay the pune branch officer gives the report in 25 days and those these, these those customers are linked together so obviously mumbai uh, customer will definitely give a idea of pune customer that we got in 13 14 days not later than that so what pune customer will do he will reject your order so hr objectives goals organizational level you should give the proper guidance to them once the quotation or any or offer is received you will be reporting 15 or 14 days that should be written somewhere as a hr okay then functional and departmental i gave you the example with the ct van refrigeration system so what's happening over here a department wise we need to tackle the situation what if a refrigeration system executive meets the ctv executive system and he says that i have 3 lakh package and he says i have only 1 lakh package and both come into your cabin now you are a head of three departments so what will be your objective to tackle this situation that is all covered in the functional okay and then we have already discussed the personal level i am lazy or not doing work properly or i have any psychological issues or there is family problem or financial issues so that all comes in the personal objectives so hrm is covering all the factors and you need to learn all these things if someone is uh, 
there for with the resume and say sir give me the job what is your prime duty to check the driving license check the aadhar card does he have his photos now call to his parents whether you are you are allowing your kid to do the job is he 18 and above the laws laws are there everything should be already there then what you need to do do we have the job organizational goals do we need that talent with us the departments which department will he fit do you know how to drive then okay you are a delivery boy do you know how to type then you you get a assistant as a accountant what about personal level are you joining this job for need of money or in you really need to get a progressive career what is your agenda that all comes in the personal objective did you got the idea so objectives is very much clear you can get the photo of it now we need to discuss about the scope what do you mean by scope scope is something you are bound to what we are including and what we are excluding that is nothing but scope the scope of hrm gives an clear idea what hr manager is capable of and what skills we need means capability ability and skills and what we are excluding there there are thousand of things we are excluding from our agenda in the marketing management you are also doing such things like if you are going for product line or digital marketing you are skipping all the other things right you are not going into the brand management you are not going into any other department so the scope of hrm we are going to discuss please note this thing scope is very much important most of you get confused scope of hrm you get confused so make sure yourself like what is included what is excluded that is only needed to write so the first and foremost thing size of the form deciding the scope size of firm then we have nature of business see these factors are deciding the scope then what we have ha ah, senior management top level management philosophy and what else we have oh multinational and global presence multinational so what we have over here size of firm or organization nature of business see uh, your hr policies will be quite different if your organization marketing a organization if your nature of business is accounting the hrm policies will be different and if uh, you are organization is providing import export facilities completely different nature so hr policies will also be different so the scope will be limited with that what if happens that you are joining a marketing agency they will be expecting more sales from you they will be expecting that you will be more representative about the brand they are giving you more ideas and seasons and all these things are coming into the picture when you are going for import export you need to know each and every currency you need to know where the shipments are holding properly what is the lag time between that if the shipment is going for singapore to dubai how much time it will take if you are going from mumbai to dubai how uh, in which uh, durations we are taking right now so all this discussion will be here and a whole parameter or agenda will be changing right so nature of business is also comes into the scope then we have top management philosophy when dhirubhai ambani died all the reliance employees were expecting that we will get him the holiday but nothing happened when dhirubhai ambani died the the main owner founder of the company died every employee were like somewhere sad because their owner who they interact with or gave them the job or gave them a 
first opportunity in life they were sad they were in demise so they asked for attending the funeral ki amhala tithe jaau de anta yatrela they didn't got the holiday so the top management philosophy is you get paid what you work for the philosophy is like this so top management philosophy should be always there the incident happened with the taj hotel the terrorist attack and now the situation came with the people who were died in the attack who got injured or got the bullets so ratan tata ji gave the compensation to all the injured customers employees police officials all of them tried to settle it down the incidents were so bad actually he was not that much responsible because this was a terrorist attack doesn't covers the insurances as well but ratan tata ji had the philosophy that everyone a waiter or a manager or attender over there or police officials should be recovered from this incidents at least with the monetary term they should not be dependent on any other person from them philosophy right and then we have multinational all global presence a excellent example is jw marriott this is a group of hotels it is available in singapore dubai as well as in india we have uh, very much uh, branches and exposure we have uh, them in the france england every nation if there is a proper tourist place we have jw marriott whenever you are entering you will be having a proper same exposure with the with the customized theme but you will not face any issue with the quality you will not face any issue with the uh, attention given to the customers like uh, i visited mumbai uh, mumbai was good but in pune we had uh, issues with the smell odor coming from bed bugs or something like that no, never they are keeping their global presence equally strong because their customers are multinational or corporate customers who are hopping every year or every month to different nations so what they expect we need a equal balance a simple example if you are very much good with the sandals and some day i will tell you about the mozdi you will feel discomfort right something happening itchy or something very tight or sweaty something happening so you need a comfort all day comfort same thing happens with these people as well they need a comfort over uh, yesterday i was in uh, france and now i'm hoping to the uh, england for the build, uh, business meet so i am not worried about my hotel i am not worried about the stay this france hotel directly coordinates with the england hotel that guest is coming you made the preparation and which premium room executive room or business suite everything is already communicated so he did not to carry his luggage giving any documents nothing should be there no opportunities so that is called a multinational or global presence of any organization when you are designing a hr policy for any jw marriott uh, hotel any branch you need to consider those things this is the scope so what is included here included is the hr uh, you can say facilities provided customer database all is included what is excluded rest everything so the policies or the scope of hrm is decided with these parameters is this clear okay jwg group it and they have a logo of lion roaring तो लोग जित कुछ है सगैंक तो डेटा आतो मजी फ्लाइट जर आता चेंज आई आई मिस माय कनेक्टिंग फ्लाइट आ माला इंग्लैंड जता नहीं आता माला मधे थांव लगे जुरिकला कि मेला लगे सोय होती तो अकाउंट लेवल ना बिल्कुल जीरो डिस्टर्बन्स 
आधार कार्ड दाखवा दोन फोटो द्या तुमचं वय किती आहे हा फॉर्म भरून द्या विषयच नाही तसं काही झालं तर कान फाडायलाच देऊ कस्टमर तुम्ही आपल्या इंडियामध्ये महिंद्रा हॉलिडेज म्हणून आहे ते काय करतात तीन तीन चार चार लाख रुपये वर्षाचे घेतात आणि मग त्यांच्या याच्यात कॉम्प्लिमेंटरी प्लॅनमध्ये तुम्ही कुठेही जाऊ शकता दे हॅव दे हॅव थाउजंड्स ऑफ हॉटेल्स अक्रॉस द इंडिया तुम्हाला फिरायचं तुम्ही हॉबिशियस असतात यू नॉट टू वरी अबाउट दॅट जस्ट लॉग इन गिव युअर प्रेफरन्सेस दॅट सेट दे आर अरेंजिंग युअर ट्रान्झिट युअर आयटर्नरी ओवर देअर हॉटेल्स यू स्टेईंग इन सगळं ते डिसाईड करतात तुमचे हेडेक नाही ना काही नाही ते गोवा बीवर स्वस्त आहे का मेक माय ट्रिपवर महाग आहे का आणि ते चेक करत बसायचं ते कोणाला वेळ आहे आमच्याकडं पैसे आम्ही चार लाख रुपये वर्षाचे दिले आम्ही आता निवांत तुमसोबत जाणार मार्केटिंग म्हणून तुम्हाला हे खूप लक्षात ठेवू नये तुम्ही शंभर गबाळे कस्टमर हँडल करताय का दोन प्रीमियम कस्टमर हँडल करताय हे नेहमी लक्षात ठेवा याची केस स्टडी मी तुम्हाला पुढच्या वेळेस देईल तुम्ही लागलंच तर एक मूवी आहे पर्स्यूट ऑफ हॅपीनेस ती मूवी तुम्ही बघा जर तुम्हाला वेळ मिळेल तर खूप मोठी मशीन महागडी मशीन विकत असतो त्याची मशीन जर विकल्या गेली तर महिन्याभराचा खर्च निघत असतो तसं तुम्हाला व्हायचं आहे का तुम्हाला चाराने आठाने गोळा करायचे मार्केटिंग मॅनेजर म्हणून तुम्हाला हे दोन डिसिजन नेहमी घ्यावं लागतील कोका कोला पेप्सी किंवा मॅकडॉनल्ड्स हे सगळे मासवाले विषय आणि जे डब्ल्यू मॅरियट किंवा त्याच्यानंतर तुमचे लॅम्बॉर्गिनी फेरारी मर्सिडीज हे सगळे क्लासवाले विषय आहेत तुम्हाला कशात मोडायचं आहे ते बघा तुम्ही जर अटायर व्यवस्थित ठेवला तुमची स्पीच क्लॅरिटी ठेवली सून यूल बी अपॉइंटेड ॲज अ सेल्स मॅनेजर इन मर्सिडीज शोरूम आणि तेच जर तुम्ही धावपळीची तयारी ठेवली सन रात्र दहा वाजू द्या ना अकरा वाजू द्या ना मी माझे सेल्स कम्प्लीट करतो मग तुम्हाला पार्लेजीमध्ये जॉब मिळेल बिस्लेरीमध्ये जॉब मिळेल त्या लोकांना मास पाहिजे तुम्ही म्हणले पाहिजे सर हे गाव आपलं कवरच नव्हतं आता इथं चार डीलरशिप काढल्या तुम्हाला पळायचं आहे का तुम्हाला क्लास वाढवतो क्लास वाढवणं सोपी गोष्ट नाही इंग्लिश फ्लुएंट पाहिजे अटायर मस्त पाहिजे कस्टमर तुमच्याकडून खुश झाला पाहिजे तुमच्या सेंटवर सुद्धा गोष्टी फायनल होतात माहिती का तुम्हाला मर्सिडीज शोरूममध्ये हा विषय असतो जर तुम्ही सेल्स मॅनेजर आहे आणि तुम्ही जवळ गेले आणि तिथं जेंट्स अँड लेडीज दोन्ही उभे लेडीजला तुमचा स्मेल चांगला नाही आला ते गाडीच नाही घेत तेव्हा दुसरं शोरूम पकडा हे होतं तो काला क्लास आणि इकडं काही विषय का स्प्रे बीचा बाया बिया वर करायचा अरे तू दोस्त आहे ना आपण चल तेरे को पार्टी फेकता चल डेलर शिपलेले तो म्हणतो काय अरे पाचशे रुपये दिवसाला चालू होतील एडे वेगळे तो म्हणतो हा खरं मग काय आपल्या ओरिजिनल बॉटल्स आहेत मज्जा येईन जाते एकदम म्हणजे दोस्त तीच क्रायटेरिया सर डिफरंट इथं तुम्ही टपऱ्यावर टपऱ्यावर हिंडत राहणार टू व्हीलरवर मस्त असे फंकी केस बिस धूळ मारण्याची डोक्यावर आणि दुसरीकडं काय प्रॉपर इंग्लिश व्यवस्थित राहायचं शांत थांबायचं तो किती काही ओरडला कस्टमर तरी आपल्याला टेन्शन नाही व्हेरी मच स्टेबल दोन्ही वेगवेगळ्या गोष्टी आहेत तुम्हाला आजच चूज करावं लागणार आहे ॲज अ मार्केटिंग तुम्ही कुठं जात आहे मार्केटिंग ही दोन्ही प्रकारची आहे क्लासची पण आहे मासची पण आहे सी दीज आर द अजेंडाज अँड यू शूड बी व्हेरी मच सिरियस अबाउट एच आर एम बिकॉज मार्केटिंग आणि एच आर एम हे भावभावासारखे तुम्हाला जर एच आर एम आलं नाही आणि तुम्ही मार्केटिंगमध्ये लय तज्ज्ञ होत चालले उपयोग नाही तुमच्याकडं येडे लोकं खाली कामावर असणार त्यांना तुम्हाला एकदम छान टॅकल करावं लागणार नाही जमलं का काय प्रॉब्लेम फॅमिलीचा इश्यू आहे का बरं ठीक त्या दिवशी काहीच नाही बोलायचं दुसऱ्या दिवशी डायरेक्ट घरी पोचायचं सफरचंद नाही घेऊन तो तर सरले भो सरले काळजी आपली दुसऱ्या दिवशी पण गप कामाला येतं ते गप कामाला येतं तुमचं सर आ हो प्रॉब्लेम खरंच मोठा आहे हो त्याला म्हणा काही नाही ना मेडिक्लेम कर ना म्हणा हे तुझे सॅलरीतले दोनशे रुपये कट होतील म्हणा आणि तुझी मेडिक्लेम काढून घेऊ तुझ्या फॅमिलीचं नाही असं दोघांचं कवर होऊन जाईल म्हणा तुम तो आर सर माझ्यासाठी देवे तिथून पुढे ते पाय चालू करतो तुमचे पाय पडायला एच आर एम अँड मार्केटिंग लक्षात आलं आणि अशा थाउजंड्स ऑफ स्ट्रॅचर्डी एच आर एम पण टॉपिक बोर असल्यामुळं काय होतं आपण लक्ष नाही देत आपण लक्ष दिलं पाहिजे कारण हे तितकंच महत्त्वाचं आहे जितके तुमचे कोर सब्जेक्ट महत्त्वाचे का शिकायचं याचं उत्तर मी तुम्हाला दिलं किती शिकायचं आणि कसं शिकायचं हे तुमच्यावर आहे ओके चलो थँक्यू